Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Boots have always been categorized into different categories depending upon their origin, nutritive value, etc. But did you know boots are also classified according to their functions in the body? And today, in this video, we'll study the same. So, according to their function, boots are classified as energy yielding food bodybuilding food, protective and regulatory foods, and maintenance foods. We all can survive without different necessities, but not without this fundamental one. So, the basic necessity needed by our body to perform a basic task comes from first category called energy yielding food. This group includes food, rich in carbohydrate, fat, and protein. For your knowledge, 1 gram of carbohydrate gives 4 calories, 1 gram of fat provides 9 calories, and 1 gram of protein gives 4 calories. This group may be broadly divided into two more groups. Cereals, pulses, nuts and oil seeds, roots and tubers combine one group, and another group includes pure carbohydrates like sugars, fats, and oils. In addition to energy, cereals provide large amount of proteins, minerals, and vitamins in the diet. Pulses also give protein and B vitamins besides giving energy to the body. Nuts and oil seeds are rich in energy yielding as they are good sources of fats and proteins. Roots and tubers, though mainly provide energy, they also contribute to some extent to minerals and vitamins. In second group, pure carbohydrates like sugars provide only energy and fats provide concentrated source of energy and fat-soluble vitamins. Now, coming to second category that is bodybuilding foods, which includes food rich in protein. They are classified into two groups. First group include milk, egg, meat and fish. They are rich in proteins of high biological value. These proteins have all the essential amino acids in correct proportion for the synthesis of body tissues. While the second category includes pulses, oil seeds and nuts, they are rich in protein but may not contain all the essential amino acids required by the human body. Third category includes protection and regulation. Foods rich in protein, vitamins and minerals have regulatory functions in the body. Example, maintaining the heartbeat, water balance, temperature, etc. Protective foods are broadly classified into two groups. First includes food rich in vitamins and minerals and proteins of high biological value, example milk, egg, fish, liver, etc. And second includes food rich in certain vitamins and minerals only, example green leafy vegetables and fruits. Last one is maintenance of health. Food contains certain phytochemicals and antioxidants which help in preventing degenerative diseases. Food plays an important role in the prevention of cancers, heart diseases and in controlling diabetes mellitus. Some examples for functional foods are whole grains, soya bean, green leafy vegetables, colored fruits and spices etc. So this is how foods are classified according to their primary and secondary functional needs. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.